Welcome to Family Wagons Fantastic Talk Show. The show aims to entertain and also bring many intriguing knowledge to our precious audience. As you all know, today is the 30th of December in the lunar calendar. To celebrate the last day of the year, we proudly premiere our exclusive episode on tape and other upcoming traditional days. Our guest today is Professor Nhat Quang, who spends most of his academic days studying the essence of Vietnamese culture. Hi, thank you for being here. My pleasure. So first and foremost, can you tell us briefly about the Tate holiday? Tate, short for Tết Nguyên Đàn, is the most important celebration in Vietnamese culture. Tate celebrates the arrival of spring based on the lunar calendar, which usually has the day falling in January or February. I see. How do they prepare for this special occasion? Many Vietnamese prepare for Tết by cooking special holiday food and cleaning the house. These food include bánh tét, bánh trưng, bánh dày, various customs and traditional practices such as visiting a person's house on the first day of the new year, as if they're worshipping, wishing New Year's greetings. But I look forward the most to the giving lucky money to children and elderly part, because I'm quite old myself. Thank you, Professor. Although Tate is celebrated nationally, Each region across the country has its own special twist, especially in the cuisine branch. Today, we have three amazing human beings coming from three different regions to talk about Tate cuisine. Could you guys tell us some disparities among the three regions? Yeah, sure. So, the Northern have a Tate traditional displaying now as a form of recreation. This symbolic touch evokes a joyful spring atmosphere while also bringing good fortune. Another inextricable part of the Lunar New Year is the five foot tray, which represents the five elements of metal, wood, water, fire, and earth, as well as symbolizes a well-rounded life. Mm -hmm. I wonder what my fellas in the center part gonna eat for Tate. Unlike in the north and south, foot trays in the central region are simple, mainly to honor the ancestors. To pray for a happy and prosperous year, they usually offer sweet fruits that are not bitter or acrid. They also avoid eating balut and duck meat, since they believe that this food will bring bad luck. What about your region? Hoa Mai is definitely a unique part when it comes to southern tea. Even the people who can't afford the large pots at least buy pretty little ranches and ornaments in order to relish the festive atmosphere of tea. As the south often has a hot and sunny climate, Cold food is considered as the traditional food of the southern. All the three regions have five fruit trays in Tate, but four types of fruit used by the southern are custard apple, coconut, papaya, and mango. Therefore, in this locality, these means come closer proper money. Thanks for your sharing. Tate is the time to dedicate our infinite gratitude towards our ancestors and the origins of our ethnicity. In the same harmony, Let's go all the way back to commemorate the founder of Vietnam, Hung King, in our next part of the show, where we will introduce you to Hung King Commemoration Day. Professor, what does this occasion mean to everyone in Vietnam? The Hung King's Temple Festival is an annual Vietnamese festival celebrated in honor of the Hung Kings from the 8th to the 11th of the third lunar month. The goal of this celebration is to commemorate and honor the Hung Kings, nation's traditional founders. Mm -hmm. How is it celebrated? On that day, Vietnamese working people can have a day off. The main ceremony takes place at the Hung Temple in the Phu Thoc province. During Hung Temple Festival, there are many folk games. Bánh Trưng and Bánh Zay are also prepared to remind people of the Lang Liu legend, the 18th Hung King who invented these cakes. A procession starts at the foot of the mountain and stops at every small temple before reaching the high temple. Here, pilgrims offer prayers and incense to our ancestors. Thank you. Now, let's move on to the colorful Hoi An Lantern Festival. The Lantern Festival of Hoi An Ancient Town is also known as the Full Moon Night Festival, which has attracted many domestics and foreign tourists' attention. Every month of the 14th day of the lunar calendar, 
where an ancient town becomes magnificent and vibrant with lights and other interesting activities. We hope you enjoy this breathtaking scenery. Hope to see you guys in the next episode. Thank you and Happy New Year!